Over 200 exhibitors, 750 travel buyers, and thousands more have made their way to the UK's capital city. We are really looking forward to having some meaningful conversations with our clients, engaging prospects, and of course, having that ultra beneficial face-to-face -face interaction. Welcome to Business Travel Show Europe. And we're here with the man of the hour, Jorge Cruz. Always good to see you at these events. Uh, let's start off talking about the vibe and the energy of this year's show. How's it going for you? Uh, it's, it, it's gone exceptionally well. This is actually my first BTS show. And I've got I've to admit, I love the vibe. I love the energy. I love the format. Hi, Chad. Well, I think we got our mojo back. Everyone is really buzzed, excited, and happy. It's great. My experience at the show has been great. It has been fabulous to reconnect with the industry. Oh, I think it's been fantastic. I think uh, we have seen a lot of our customers here, a lot of great uh, new faces. Uh, we have had an amazing amount of appointments in our booth. And I think the entire vibe of the session has been very energizing. So a lot of companies are asking themselves, what comes next? And they haven't been able to arrive at that answer. What's your advice for companies that don't really know what's next for their travel program? Well, we love when customers ask that. Um, and, and really, it's, it's not been an aggressive sales pitch. It's truly where BCD invests. So we're excited. We're talking to customers about right now, we are focused on hotel. You know, don't just do it and forget about it. There's, uh, there's more to come. So Advito are leading a lot of that for us, which is, again, a great strategy and engagement that we have. And then there's the whole opportunity about the tech stack. So our investment around payments and invoice reconciliation, trip source, they're really dynamic conversations and new um, information. And just the investment that we're bringing is really exciting customers and prospects here. What are you talking to? What uh, conversations are you having with clients here at the show? Um, hotel has been a big topic. Sustainability is still the biggest topic that we're talking about. Every person coming to the stand wants to know what they could be doing, how they can measure, and the opportunities to drive behavior change. So that leads us into travel engagement. And another key topic is around duty of care. So looking at traveler security program assessments, it's a really new kind of big area that travel managers are really focusing in on that duty of care piece alongside sustainability, air, hotel, all of the kind of traditional things that they've been talking about for a while. Yeah, and I've noticed that uh, you keep popping into some conversations, talking to our clients and prospects as well. When you hear those conversations, we listen to those people, how do you take that information and use it later to kind of change the trajectory of how things are going to match our clients' needs? I think it's an excellent question. It's really the voice of the customer, right? So it's our responsibility not only to listen to our clients and what they're saying, but our prospects alike. So we gather that information, take it back to the powers that be, evaluate it from a global executive team perspective, and really start to map out processes and services that really support that direction that we're going. Wow, it's been an amazing couple of days here at Business Travel Show Europe. Very high value event, and we know that we will be back here next year. Thanks so much for joining us.